Yo, what is going on guys? This is gonna be a brand new series that I'm starting on the second channel here. I figured, why do I even have a second channel if I'm not just uploading whatever I feel like uploading, whatever I want to create? And this is something I was curious about, just playing with my friends by myself. We discussed this and I wanted to give it a try because I think it'll be very, very difficult. If you guys aren't familiar with the Fallout series, this is Fallout New Vegas, the game which proceeds Fallout 3, one of my all time favorite video games. It's an open world experience where you just complete quests, fight things, level up, loot, and dying in this game is an innate part of the game, but not in this series. We have one life. I don't know how this is going to go. There might be many attempts, but I'm giving it a shot. If you want a little backstory to the game, make sure to watch the intro that follows my little intro here. It'll help you out a little bit understanding where we are and what's going on. Enjoy. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. All right, here we are. You've been out cold a couple of days now. All right, Doc. Relax a second. Can you tell me your name? Sure can. Belvida. How'd I do? <laughs> Not well. Okay, now you're closer. That looks like it's the best hairstyle. Wendy the welder. Hair color. Suede. Yeah, let's go suede. Eye color, we'll go dark brown after myself. Yeah, looks good enough. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Okay. It ain't a race. Why are you so close? Wait, I look kinda good. Looking good so far. Okay. Stop. Alright guys. I don't know how much I said in the intro. What I've done is added a whole bunch of mods that make this game 
infinitely harder than the base vanilla game. This first episode, I wanna just explain kind of the series and why I'm doing it and what mods I'm using and why I think this will be fun. So I recently have another playthrough, about 30 something hours in on that playthrough, in which I'm using the same mods, except I'm restricting myself to only carrying stuff that I can fit on my person. I am not allowed to use a house. I'm not allowed to use a companion because I really wanted to challenge myself with this game. This game is not a new game, obviously, but it is one of my all time favorites. I have hundreds, if not thousands of hours on the series, but I wanted to challenge myself and do a one life playthrough. It's a hardcore playthrough, basically. We have one life. What makes this even harder is that the mods that I have called Project Nevada mainly is the one that modifies all this stuff. Project Nevada makes this very difficult. Your health is modified to be lower, your carry weight's lower, you get crippled more easily, it's hard, It's way harder to sneak around in the game. It modifies all these base values of the game to make the whole experience way more difficult. I've also added a creature mod that puts probably a hundred more unique creatures into the wasteland. And I mean this when I say this, most of them can one hit you. So that's why I wanted to challenge myself to see how long I can survive on a new account, show you the progress of it, and see if I can play absolutely 400 IQ the entire playthrough to avoid dying. Now I have to think this over, but I think that I want to give myself another life every 10 levels. Now the first one shouldn't be too hard to achieve, so if we get to level 10, we should have two lives. But after that, levels become very difficult to get. So I think that's a good way of actually allowing myself one mistake, because honestly, you can die in this game in a tenth of a second without even being able to do anything about it. Sometimes it's actually not even your fault because this game is notoriously glitchy and that's what makes it beautiful in my opinion <laughs> to some extent. But honestly, you could just die to a glitch. So I think that would be a way of actually keeping the series going. But I'm gonna try my best to not die at all. This series could literally end this episode. I'm challenging myself. So if I die this episode, we're starting a new character. We're starting right back up. And we're gonna see if we can beat our best. Hopping into this, the build of the character is very, very important. So I have to be very particular with how I build my character here to maximize the chance of survival. You can see what each of these affects here. This one affects melee, unarmed, inventory, weight, damage, weapon effectiveness. So it's pretty important. I usually do a seven strength build, but I think I'm gonna do one strength point here. So it was six strength build. So I don't think I'm gonna add one to perception. Unarmed, health, resistance, and survival. That is very important. Health right off the bat. You're gonna want health. So I'm gonna put one into endurance, maybe even two, I have to see. Now charisma is also cool. But I don't think I'm going to add one into Charisma right away. Because Barter and Speech and Companion Nerve, although Barter and Speech are very important, they're not critical to surviving. And this is all about not dying. Science Repair Medicine and Skill Points. Medicine, they got me right there. I'm going to put one at least into Intelligence. Agility, oh damn. Guns, Sneak, Speed, action points and regenerate action point regeneration thinking about it this might be one of the most important ones i'm gonna put two points into it we're gonna do a seven agility build just because sneak is a crucial part of not getting killed instantaneously with these mods so also guns is great and honestly every single one of these perks right here that are affected are phenomenal so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna keep luck as five sometimes i decrease this to four but I want to just kind of keep base fives and then a couple at six and seven. So that's what we're going to do. So we are going to go with a six, five, six, five, six, seven, five. I'm happy with that. Now, what do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Why does he have to say everything so weirdly? Anyways, to really do well in this series, I'm employing all of the things that I've learned over hundreds of hours of this game. So, you know, first tactic that we have here is we're just going to steal everything from his house that has value. It's not really stealing either because he's totally okay with it. So take a doctor's bag, which is going to be awesome. A little today's physician. Nice. What do we got over here? Radex, stim packs, anti-venom. Ooh, implant. Yep. Laser pistol. Okay, that's our first gun, I think. Here we go. This is, this is the money wall. First aids. So I basically always take everything from first aids. You will rarely find something in a first aid box that you do not want. So I just quickly grab all there is if you're wondering the starting loot is just going to help us sell to vendors and maybe make a little bit of money off the start of the game because we start with nothing it'll help a little bit all right let's go do the test oh wait i missed a knife i'll be honest this has no relevance because you can just completely redo everything but we'll play along cat house we're gonna go burglarize night. i think we're gonna be kind of a chaotic evil night dream conflict, conflict. just ain't in my nature i'm gonna strongly disagree I ain't given to relying on others. I agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. 
Uh, my other character was a charismatic build, but I don't really know if I want this character to be charismatic. It's more about survival. We're character building, guys. Just let it happen, okay? Space Age technology. Mushroom cloud. I don't have nothing to compare it. Okay. Wow, these are weird. Okay, uh, I don't want any of them. So, what we're gonna be bumping up first? Right off the bat, we're gonna be bumping guns. We're gonna be bumping medicine. These are called our tag skills. You get a little boost in three different ones. And we're gonna be bumping sneak. This is something I don't do. I don't usually bump these three. I usually will do a lockpick, repair, and sometimes guns or medicine. It really just depends. But sneak is too important to us. Medicine is too important to us. And surviving and being able to do damage is too important. So I just, I don't even think we can do anything else with these three. So traits are basically a positive and a negative thing. For example, you have plus one agility, but your limbs are crippled easily. So the only one that I really like to go with, actually trigger discipline could be pretty good. I'm gonna go with trigger discipline. I never go with this, but firing 20% slower, but 20% more accurately. Honestly, I think that plays in well with our character. And then this is the other one I go with. You gain plus five points to every skill, but you suffer minus 10% from experience gained from now on. I'm not worried about experience gained. I want as many benefits and buffs as I can. So we're going skilled. Oh, some bottle caps. Last thing to do in Doc Mitchell's house here is select our starter box. This is basically to give you a chance at not dying in the all the modded areas and to all the modded enemies, I should say. So I think I'm gonna go soldier because I need armor and a good weapon and hopefully soldier provides that to me. Berserker sounds like melee, doctor is meh. Repairman, I don't really think is gonna help us too much. Scientist maybe would help. I don't even know what these two get. So we're gonna go soldier and hope that. Okay, 10 mil, nice. Lever action shotgun. Dope. We are not playing actual hardcore mode. We're just playing our own version of it. The actual hardcore mode I've always found to be more of an annoyance than anything else. You basically have to make sure you're drinking water, you're sleeping, you're eating food consistently. You have to worry about all your vitals. It's just a pain in the ass and no one wants to play that. Or at least I don't. All right, into the brave world we go. Here we are, New Vegas. Oh yeah, also I do have all the DLCs on this game, so maybe we'll survive long enough to go in one of those and die in there. So you can see all these things being added in the top left there. DLC in this game gives you a lot of stuff, so things like the grenade launcher, or the grenade rifle here is a DLC weapon. Sturdy Caravan is a uh, DLC weapon. So what do we what do we get here? Metal armor, oh, that's terrible. You can see that some armors have negative effects. This one has agility minus one, so we don't want that. Wow, yeah, see that's why I picked soldier. I had a pretty good feeling it was gonna give us good armor, and that's really good armor. Plus 10 guns, five survival, agility plus one. That is where it's at, man. A thing to mention here is that I have Nevada Skies, which is a mod that adds detailed high definition skies and as well as weather to the game to make it more immersive. So nights are very dark. It's dark for me, but I'm assuming it's gonna be even darker for you. So I'll try to see if I can add a little bit of brightness whenever it's nighttime. Things like tunnels and sewers are so dark that I might have to avoid them because you literally can't see five feet ahead of you. There is night vision, but I don't even know if, you know, maybe this series will get to that. I don't know. It's a kind of a mid game item to have. You need combat helmet for that. Combat helmet mark two, actually not even a combat helmet. So what we're going to do right off the bat is we're just going to steal as much as we can just to get some sort of cash flow going here. Oh my God. We found a mod part in the dumpster. Let's go. That's so lucky. Oh, hello. Hi. I'm not doing anything. Don't mind me. So first thing we want to do is actually just get some XP going so we can get some levels, get stronger. I'm going to sneak my way in here. Get 18 XP for that. We can't hit this terminal yet. Easy, which is 25. 25 skill points in science, so we can't get that yet. I am over encumbered though. I have a lot of stuff on me. All right, Chet. Where's Chet? Come here, Chet. I got some stuff to sell. Wake up. Howdy. Howdy. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. Yep. All right, let's see what he has for sale here. Probably nothing, but 700 caps. Actually, I need a silenced weapon. And the 22 is not terrible as long as you're sneaking, I found. So I'm gonna buy that. There's a saying I like to have, never sleep on the 22. I don't intend to. Let's see what mods he has for weapons. Uh, <laughs> he actually has a silenced 22 long barrel for 20% damage. That's pretty damn good. I might have to save up for that. A varmint rifle silencer? He never has this in any of my other games. I'm buying that for sure. Yeah, that's really good. So let's sell some items to him. What do we not need? We don't need binoculars. We don't need a machete. We'll toss the frags for now. We don't need a knife. Nah, we'll keep the knife for now. I think I'm gonna sell these armors too. 
We only need this armor. So we are over his stock. So I guess we'll buy ammo. If I can buy some 22 ammo. Honestly, wait, can I just buy the... Maybe I can just buy the... This is not a good use of money, but honestly... Hoarding money in this game doesn't really help you. Oh, I don't... Okay, hold on. I'm very close to being able to afford this. Sell him that. I'm just gonna get rid of all this shit that I picked up. All right. Give me a shout that was really productive, actually. So we got Silence 22, which you, you, you seeing that damage, you're like, wow, that's ass. But you gotta take into effect the bonus critical damage on top of the sneak bonus that is already in the game for any weapon and the bonus critical chance. So crouching this thing is a beast. And we get the extra attack damage. Let's take a look at, oh, look how sick that looks though. That's gonna be our go-to for a little bit. We don't have a ton of ammo. Okay, dude, put your gun down, damn. Cheyenne, stay. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Good. I'll put her down. Wait, what? Yeah, mark mark some things on the map for me. I just need to get some locations marked on my map. Uh, document so you can teach me to survive. Yeah, let's do the... So this is basically a tutorial that we'll do here. I just keep walking. I'm just gonna rob uh, Trudy's bar here because, unfortunately, Karma really doesn't have much of an effect in this game. I don't know why they've removed it. In Fallout 3, karma was a big thing you actually had to worry about. You couldn't get certain followers with karma. Things would play out differently if you had different karma. Sometimes people just wouldn't do stuff for you if you had bad karma. I don't know, in this game, it doesn't really seem to have any influence. I kind of just steal, you know? Don't get caught and steal. I don't care, it's about staying alive, not making friends. I know it's really dark for you guys, so let's just let's get some light here. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. One. Two. I am. Three. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. I didn't. Tell you what. Okay. We're gonna continue the tutorial just because it's honestly probably pretty good early game XP here. We just need to get some levels under our belt. Before we continue on the quest, I just want to show you guys something on the map here. I have a mod called the Underground Hideout, which is basically a home. An underground home and in my last playthrough as i said i didn't allow myself to use a home but i think on this one because we only have one life i'm gonna use a home i don't care i might not even be alive for very long as soon as we can safely get to the underground hideout now it is not a safe passage down this road to the underground hideout i'll, I'll show you later it is far from safe which is why i'm not gonna rush it even though i probably could it's basically a coin flip i have to play it perfectly or else i'll just die in one hit from the things over there so that's our goal i think i might make a move for that like around level three or four just because i need a place to store stuff and the hideout offers a lot of really awesome features and i, I think it's one of my it's honestly one of my favorite mods ever to be honest with you it's just so cool but for now, we'll just do uh, the main stories and tutorials here. Maybe fight a couple things and try to get some levels and skill points and whatnot. Oh, I see him. I seen him. That's one, baby. Where's the other? Oh, there he is. Oh, boy. He's coming in. Almost killed him. Got him. One of the major things about Fallout, especially on console, it was so clunky for gunplay on console it was just really it was always laggy and it was really hard to aim and so you had to kind of play a certain way shotguns were super good on console there's two more wells that still need clearing you want you can come along i will thank you oh she gave me so much ammo i've never realized how much ammo she gives but once you get on pc it's just like you can actually aim and the whole game becomes available to you like you can really get creative with how you play it which is probably why i love this game on pc and didn't actually like it at all on console come on. oh shit Yeah, look at us. We're, we're moving on level two already. I'm collecting the meat because gecko meat turns into gecko steak. Which is actually... Oh, there's a shovel. Let's get that. But gecko steak is actually quite good. Uh-oh. Oh, she's popping off down here. I'm trying to help you, ma'am. What's up? Oh, she's so close to dead. Are you okay? You don't look okay. Howdy. Hey. I came up here to draw water. Right, that's, you know, maybe don't leave the town alone. Hmm? Well, this is hard to watch. Can someone help her. Sonny you might just want to shoot her in the back of the head, honestly. I don't know. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Thanks. One more thing I wanted to show you. 50. Nice. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. Okay. We'll do that as well. Oh, we got a lot of XP for that. See, it's worth it. Worth doing the little tutorial mission. So you can come right down to the campfire here and make some gecko steak. 
Oh, I just realized I have to turn on something. We're gonna go into the mod configuration menu. I'm just gonna show you something. There's a couple key things we do have to alter. Number one being loot destruction. Basically what this means is that it will destroy quote unquote OP loot on enemies so that I can't just kill an enemy for really, really good loot early in the game. This will help balance it a lot. Basically, a lot of the enemies you go up against will have Mark II weapons and armor, which are way better than normal weapons. And if you kill them, they drop everything that they have. So unless you turn this on, I can just get super good weapons early on, which I do not want. It's just, it becomes very unbalanced. So we're gonna make sure that loot destruction is on. That should make it even harder for us, but at the same time, make it a lot more enjoyable for me personally, and I think for you guys. This way, we have to basically buy it from a shop, or we have to find it ourselves in the world, not just kill someone for it. Brighter enhanced vision is important because we have darker nights. This is actually a great example of how Project Nevada makes the game harder. So basically, you can take a look here. The default value for carry weight is 150. So we have 150 defaultly, except Project Nevada, sets it to 25 and then the strength multiplier is 25 versus the vanilla's 10. so basically what that means is skills that you have in this game actually matter way more but off the bat you have way less carry weight that's just one example you gain 50 percent more radiation in this the falling high is 200 less meaning you're gonna literally break your legs off 10 feet probably and even your weapons at low durability do so much less damage 47 percent less damage or penalty i should say you can see that the sneaking is harder one of the few things i do change is food healing for some reason defaultly it's off so basically food doesn't heal you i think that's because of the whole hardcore thing food just is supposed to replenish your hunger or whatever but i turn this on just because then food actually has a use so that's basically the only couple things that we change you can see now if we go to our food here i'll just show you this really quick you can see that it heals over time. So food in this game will heal over time. We get three HP for five seconds. The only immediate healing is stuff like stim packs, which is an immediate 52. I'm gonna bind this to number three because it's gonna be very important for us. And I'm also gonna bind like maybe a basic weapon. Like we'll bind varmint rifle to one, silenced pistol to four, I guess. Oh my God, she's still limp, Jesus, man. I'm going to discover any location I can, not necessarily go in them. So a lot of locations, such as the cigarette factory that we just discovered, are AWOP locations. A World of Pain is the mod. Uh, this is also, I believe, an AWOP location. And as the name would suggest, a World of Pain. Um, these areas are tough. They're really, really tough. They even will combine with all the other mods, such as the creature mods that I have. So you'll be fighting these terrifyingly strong creatures. We got to be very careful with which one we want to embark on. Because honestly, I could die in a tenth of a second in one of those. Howdy, What's up, partner? Victor? Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thank you. That's kind of weird though, but thank you. I think if I remember correctly, I can just steal it from Victor's house because he's a robot and can't use his stuff. Vision batteries, nice. What do you got in here? Nine mil, okay. All right, dope. Just a little more cash. So I am gonna look around maybe in these mailboxes. Sometimes they can spawn magazines. Magazines are pretty useful for boosting skills. So we could get lucky, and that is just about the best magazine you could possibly find. That is crazy, okay. There's another one. It's pretty common to find. Oh my god, this, we are three for three there, holy shit. I'm gonna save the magazines for when I need to boost a skill that I do not have the level for. So I'm gonna continue on this little quest that we're doing. We have to find some flowers. Oh, actually, I think before we do that, that this house right over here, oh nice, another mag. I think this house I can rob, actually. I think that's Frankie's house. Ooh, here's some XP. 18 XP, not bad. 19 millimeter food. Ooh, another. Oh, we can't even do that one. Shoot. Okay. Uh, so we got to remember that's some XP there. I could boost for it, but I'm going to wait. Can't do this either. Oh. oh, we got a little bit of a dangerous situation here. Tell me it. I can't even hit that thing. Got that. Okay, there's one over here. Got that one. Oh, God. Got him. Okay, cool. So, we're gonna rob some graves. God bless. Because I picked up that shovel, I'm able to get a little bit of looting done up here. Yeah, it's, a, it's a kind of just rounds, which is good. A little bit more there. Ooh, 21 bottle caps is actually not terrible. Snow globe, let's take that. Limited edition. 
this look familiar? This is uh, where we were shot. Oh, Brock flower. Okay, perfect. So we got some Brock flower now. It's part of the quest. To put it in perspective, here's Vegas, where we eventually want to go. That's the whole strip and outside the strip. And right outside Good Springs, we have things like the giant rad scorpion, which will... I don't know if it'll one hit us, but if it does hit us, it'll probably cripple us into about half of our health and then the poison from it will kick in and finish us off if we're not careful. So things like that, we just have to worry about. Poison is really strong in this game, especially, I mean, I don't even think Raz Scorpion poison is nearly the top tier poison, but it still destroys you. So you just gotta be careful. I don't wanna venture too far out of Good Springs at level one because I will get rocked by just about everything. But I do wanna just explore the locations so we can get a little bit of XP. You see that sign? A good reason that sign's there, man. Level up. Let's get it. Give me that level. Here we go. So I'm gonna put at least two into medicine. We're gonna do. We're gonna get lockpick up to 25 because that's just essential for easy locks. Uh, we're gonna do another uh, sneak. One on barter. Two on guns. Uh, one on repair, I think. Two on repair. Yeah. Ooh, first perk. Here we go. What are we getting? These are interesting perks. Oh, rapid reload's really good. 25% faster. I think I gotta go with that. Retention might be the next one I go for just because Gill Magazine's lasting long. Pretty good. Really good, actually. So I'm gonna go with rapid reload first. 25% speed increase. I don't think we're ready for the sewers. Sewers in this game are very dark, like I said, and we wouldn't be able to see anything down there. And we'd probably die, honestly. It's not the easiest. While we're here, we might as well. I have a repair kit. That's not bad. Let's uh, break into his house too, huh? There we go. Um, 20 gauge, nice. He's not home because he's in his shop, but I'm just going to take advantage of that and uh, steal everything. Alright, so I think we got everything in here. So I think to end the first episode here, we'll uh, complete the entry quest. We'll go over to the school. Yeah, we'll go right over to the school and uh, collect the Xander root. And finish that quest. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more XP. These episodes are going to be longer just because if they're not long, there's just no way that this there's any progress. All right, here's a Xander route. There we go. Let's, uh, let's clear the school out. I think there's some good loot in there. Sonny said something about that, so we're going to check it out. It really kind of depends. Sometimes you can get really good loot from the school. I don't really want to waste ammo right now. Oh, I missed. These things are so weak that there's just no point. Wait, how much damage does that do? That did three damage. Those are definitely something we don't have to worry about. All right, you ready for the nastiest sound in all of video games? Oh, nice magazine. Oh, another mag. All right, what we got over here? Another mag. Two of those. I'm gonna pick this safe. Hopefully there's some decent stuff in here. Stealth boy, that's it, it's pre-war. Honestly, it's pretty, uh, I don't know. Oh, that's really all that useful. Except for the book. Wait, it turns into a broken terminal when you pick the lock? That's weird. Why would you do that? I was gonna, I wanted the terminal XP. All right, well, at least we completed the quest. Uh, we didn't get any loot from there, really. What's up? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Mm -hmm. All right now. We're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Okay. All right. Go over the camera. Yep. Healing powder. Boom. Hey, that's not bad. See? Yeah, I know. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. Thank you. I'm heading back now. Oh, free ammo. I think we'll probably end the episode here by talking to Frankie. Uh, he's gonna be a very good vendor for us. We actually can do some jobs for him. Okay, he's got 700 caps, um, lots of ammo, which is gonna be the best part. Does he have any weapons we want? Mark II Caravan Shotgun. You can see how much better it is. 80, 90 DPS versus 43, that's literally double. All right, cool. So we have a bunch of caps coming our way. Now we can kind of work with that. What kind of mods do you have? 12.7 millimeter submachine gun. Okay, we're not gonna have that. We're not gonna have a flamer. 10 mil extended. We do have a 10 mil. Varmint rifle extended mag. Let's buy that. I'm gonna just buy some ammo, I think, with the rest of it. We'll buy some of that. Okay, do they have 10? We'll buy some 10s. All right, we have five caps. 
He's got a thousand. The positive thing here is that put on some mods here. We have a little bit more ammo with some guns. I mean, come on. Look how good that looks now. Extended mag silencer on this thing. We're looking beastly. All right, that'll do it for episode one. We survived. We didn't die. I mean, it was almost... If we died episode one, I would have quit forever. We got some stuff done. We'll continue on in the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Peace.